All right, thanks, Dave. We're keeping it rolling with the sculpture of the South. Artist Rob Maniscalco is here with us right now to tell us about the differences that we can find between maybe painting a live, that we have our live person right here, or painting a picture, right? Yes. Well, I, you know, I paint a lot of uh, what I do, I paint from photographs. Okay. Uh, because people just don't have time <laughs> to in just this sit society, there. Right. To, you know, because I do a lot of commissioned portraits at MEOSC and some other mm -hmm. uh, places around uh, town and all over the country. Uh, commission portraits, but uh, I love to paint from life, and that's the way to learn. That's the uh, uh, deposit you can make into your creative bank account by painting from life. And you're you're offering some workshops to help people paint from life. Tell yes. us about those. Uh, well, with Sculpture in the South, mm -hmm. uh, this Tuesday and Wednesday, like after school, there's going to be a, fa uh, a a parent and child workshop just teaching basic drawing mm -hmm. uh, because uh, visual literacy is something I'm committed to, it's something uh, that I think everybody should be able to draw what they see to some extent. And I have some, you know, kind of like Alex, I've kind of distilled right. what is uh, essential in being able to draw what you see, how finding connections, it's all about finding the relative, you know, how this is connected to that. If you can do that, then you can build things that will be real. Well, in order to attend the workshop, do we need to have some sort of background in artistry or can we no, just, if just a novice not. can just show up? Because absolutely. I can tell you, I'd probably have stick figures. Well, <laughs> a stick figure is the place to start. <laughs> I mean, you know, you have to start with something and you build on that. I okay. mean, let's say, I mean, if I was going to Speaking paint, of starting, go right, ahead. I'm gonna, see what we're going to do If here. I paint a portrait, well, well, here's a blank canvas. It's very scary. So yeah. one of the first things I have to do is is put the paint on there. That's scary for a lot of people. Just just starting the painting is, is uh, very very scary. So uh -huh. I, I basically am going to just place his head, get the mass, the gestalt, the big picture of his head. I'm going to place it on the canvas in a, in a way that's going to be very interesting and then I'll I'll keep working on this throughout the uh, throughout the session, and uh, and this is something that you you're going to teach people though, trying to combat that fear of getting started because that's I mean it can be very intimidating looking at a white canvas. Absolutely, it's very scary for people for some reason. I you know I, I kind of grew up with, around art, so I've never been intimidated, but I have had the experience of learning right. other things that I was scared of, so I can kind of relate to it that way. Exactly. But you know it the the, the main thing is to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean a lot of people is like I, I really could be a violinist. I really could be, I think I could be a violinist. And Right. Until you until you actually pick up a violin. And, it becomes very real to you. Or pick up a paintbrush <laughs> or whatever. It, it, it's not going to happen. You know. Okay. You know, that's, that's so all you're getting is. started. You're saying the first thing we need to do is just get some paint on there. Put a mass on there of his head. You can already see basically the shape of his head. Okay. And then the next thing I would do is I would I would get the, the outermost shape called the envelope mm -hmm. of his head. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, from there I will build... I'll find a proportion, a measure. You know, it's like there's just stuff. Right. It's 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 just like anything else that yeah. you can learn to do, like math or English or reading and writing. You learn there's a structure. And uh, speaking of and speaking of learning what you do, I think that's another thing that you like to tell people. You mm -hmm. want to love what you do and do what you love. And I think that's why it's so. Imp you can see that in all of your work that you have. Yes, it has to come out of love. And you know, people say, "How do you paint love?" Well, you don't paint love. You have to feel love. And you learn to paint, you learn the structures, you learn how to do this, that, and the other thing, and you concentrate on doing that with your left brain, and then, sure enough, love. You keep working on and it. And beauty and, and, and talent and all that kind of stuff comes in the back door. Because, yeah, talent is, has a little bit to do with it because you are very good at what you do. <laughs> I don't believe in the word talent. Oh, really? I'm not a believer in the word talent. I think that really what you have is a desire to do something. There you go. And you either do that and you get good at learning the, 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 the ropes, you know, you learn this, that, and the other thing, just like anything else, and then, I mean, you learn to read and write. Not everybody's a writer, but you can learn to read and write. Well, there you go. You have to learn to read and write before you could become a writer. It's magic. Can you imagine? Uh, I can imagine. I'm going to be a writer, <laughs> but I don't know how to write. Well, uh-huh, that's going to be trouble. Well, I think that what we're going to do is you're going to continue to paint this gentleman right here while yes. we go throughout the show. And then at the end, we're going to check back in with you and see what you got. Fantastic. Love it. Thank you so much for being here, Rob. We appreciate My it. My pleasure. Thank you, Laura. All right. Well, getting a good night's sleep is just a mattress away. The people from Mattress Firm are here celebrating a big milestone, all in the name of sleep. Well, let's check in real quick with our painter who's uh, got a great oh, yeah. portrait going on. Can we Rob has been working on that. Yeah. Look at, oh, hey. Rob, really? Look yeah. at that. It, it looks just the like I, I thought that was him, but it's not. He's and he honestly did chair. this the whole show. Like this, this is not like the magic of television. He had something else. Rob, that's amazing. Very nice. There he is. Yes, the real guy. And then there's the picture. Yeah. <laughs> the real guy. Real guy. Tell us what your name is so we know. 
Tyler. Tyler, that's right. Tyler is the real guy. Well, Tyler, you have a great work of art to take with you. There you go. Yes, thank wow. you so much. Thank you all so much. Very nice. All right, and thank you at home for joining yeah. us today. All right, well, if you have any questions or comments about this morning's show, you can always check us out on the web, Facebook, or abcnews4.com. Yeah, definitely hit us up. You know what? And guess what? It's only Thursday. we got one more day tomorrow. We hope you'll check us out on Friday. Happy Cinco de Mayo!